644 in the morning, and the holidays are supposed to be filled with joy and mm -hmm. happiness. But between the shopping, baking, families, parties, <laughs> and work, they're often filled with stress and many sleepless nights. Yeah, well, this year, uh, why not try to do something about it? I went to the experts for some practical tips to help out. It's the most wonderful time of the year. They say it's the most wonderful time of the year, but for many, it's also the most stressful. The shopping, the cooking, and the parties leave you physically tired. The gifts, the food, and the travel leave you financially strapped. And the family get-togethers and the in-laws leave you emotionally drained. And all these activities deprive us of our normal night's sleep. So much for peace and joy, right? Well, not necessarily. At the Sleep Wellness Institute in West Dallas, Mark Stoiber says it is possible to get it all done and still sleep like a baby. Number one, try to get seven, eight hours of sleep. That means make sleep a priority. Don't underestimate how important it is to feeling good and being productive during the day. Stoiber also says drink no more than two small cups of coffee or 24 ounces of soda each day. Avoid all caffeine and alcohol four hours before bed, and at least a half hour before you want to fall asleep, start winding down. Don't eat a heavy meal at that point. Read or watch TV, but then turn that TV off. And if you have something on your mind, maybe a to-do list to write, do it then. Don't wait until morning. If you don't write it down, what's going to happen is you're going to fall asleep for like two or three hours, going to wake up, and you're going to start thinking about that. So what happens when you've done all that and you still can't sleep? That's when it's time to see a doctor. You could also take part in a sleep study at one of many sleep centers in the area. At the Sleep Wellness Institute, you'll sleep in a private room and are monitored from across the hall. Once the patients fall asleep, technicians watch them throughout the night from a camera set up in the room. They look for anything from how many times they stop breathing to how many times they kick their legs. They can tell if you have general holiday stress or something more serious like insomnia or sleep apnea. Stress will just exacerbate that feeling of exhaustion. But begin with those simple changes and the season of joy and peace can start living up to its name. Well, in other ways to relax during the holidays, experts say learn to say no to those extra obligations that may stress you out. They say don't aim for perfection like many of us do over the holidays and try to reflect on the deeper meaning of the holiday for you personally to help keep things in perspective. Well, you probably need lots of silent nights, too. <laughs> right, exactly. That would have been a good song for that piece. Yeah. I thought about that. <laughs> All right. Also, speaking of...